Hello everyone, welcome back. So when I posted the flip through of the Blue Iris journal, I had um, someone inquire about a tutorial for this trifold, fold out, flip out. Um, I don't know what I'm going to call it. But yeah, so um, I'm going to share with you guys today how to create this um, little flip out. It looks complicated or it looks a little more complicated than it actually is. Um, and so, yeah, we're going to do that today. All you need is a piece of paper, eight and a half by 11. Um, I prefer to use a 60 pound cardstock weight or 110. If you want to use something thinner, that's fine because you're, you're going to use papers on top of that. That's my preference when doing these flip outs. I prefer a heavier cardstock. So on the 11 inch side, I am going to cut parallel to that. <laughs> I'm going to mark my place here. You're going to see that. So when I was doing the original video before I did this voiceover, I was giving you guys measurements and then I thought about that. There's no need for that um, because everyone's depending on what paper you're working with or what you're trying to create. Um, everyone's measurements going to be different. You can even make this larger like the size of your actual page and have that as a flip out so um i'm going by the um i'm just using the original flip out as my guide and so that's why i've marked off the fold lines there to where i need to um crease my paper or fold my paper so i have three marks there so we're going to fold the paper three times, you guys. I'm sorry, I'm just waiting for the video to catch up with me. Okay, so um, yeah, I was giving you uh, where I was cutting or folding it on <laughs> this scoreboard, but there's no need for that. So just figure out how you want to, how big of a size you want your little page flips to be, and then do it that way, okay? Divide them up, not... You need three even um, flips, and then you need a little piece on this left side here to hang over and grab behind your uh, page as your hinge. You're going to use that piece of a hinge as a hinge. So one crease. This is my second crease. And this one is my third. And you see how much where my uh, left forefinger is. That's the piece that's going to fold over and hang behind your page, okay, to connect it to the book, the page. So I'm folding that there. That's your hinge. So you can also hinge it on the right side as well. Mine is on the left side, and so that's what we're going to mimic here. So if I can remember how to fold it, we can carry on. So here I'm just... um lining everything up and then i'm just going to reinforce those fold lines so this is our base piece right here you guys and i just pointed to the top piece because we're going to use this little extra piece that we cut off from the bottom and that's how we're going to create the top flip out so i need two marks and two folds and I made a little um, error here so I have to go back in and you'll see I have to go back in and correct my mistake so you're going to need two folds they're not going to be um, equal and this is our um, this is our second one which is going to go over the top of the base piece. So you can go ahead and fold that piece back. And at this point, you can go ahead and attach it or um, adhere it to your base piece. But as I look on here, I see that my first fold is too short. So I have to go in and correct that. 
So I'm just going to eyeball that, look a little lower. I mean, come down a little bit lower. And um, that's my new fold. The good thing was I hadn't um, reinforced that cre that fold there. I hadn't creased it yet. But if I had, once you um, add your decorative paper over that, you don't have that problem with it trying to fold on both spots. So let's just get this out of the way. And now we have our two pieces. And I often do this. I just want to make sure that everything is working and folding out the way that I need for it to. So at this point, make sure that um, everything is able to open and close without um, rubbing against one another. Everything looks good, so we can move on to the next part, which should be um, getting your papers ready to decorate. This little flip out, fold out, trifecta. So yes, I'm talking about um, magnets. You can use magnets, or you can also use um, these Velcro. Uh, Velcro tags or pieces. Um, okay. I got these at Walmart. You can use Velcro. Um, I wanted to use magnets, and I think I used... Okay, so let me pause that to get on my the papers original ready. flip out, I think I used probably five. This time, I think I only used four. But you need to have good, strong magnets because when you add all the extra paper, it's going to uh, lessen the pull of the magnets to one another. So what I'm going to do is um, I want to use this whole um, paper. And so I'm going to cut it up um, and do it like frame by frame. So that you still get the whole image once um, all of the pieces are folded out. And I just cut away my little marks, telling me where I needed to cut. And as I noticed that, yeah. So um, I'm going to create a little um, hinge, so to speak, piece, but it's not really a hinge. I'm going to fold that top piece over so that I have um, extra, and I just, no, I just now cut those little pieces off, and I realize it at this point. Silly, silly me. I was going to try and use that piece as a guide, but I thought better about that and just let's go and remeasure everything or remark everything and so when you saw me use a scoreboard um, I'm going to fold that piece back so that when you're um, putting tags in and out of that pocket you have more um, stability with that pocket and it's not going to rip and tear. Because this here paper is just printed out on um, regular 28 pound copy paper. And someone asked, um, what kind of paper that I use because they love the prints that I get. I use, um, now I'm saying that I can't even, uh, goodness, what type of paper do I use? 
But as I told her, it's not, the paper does um, matter, but I can use this paper, the exact paper in my eco tank, um, and it's still not as stunning. Why my prints look so good, you guys, is because of my HP printer. It's an HP Laser Jet Pro um, M452DW, and it makes all the difference, you guys. I kid you not. Um, that's why you get these very vivid images. Now, it's pricey, but if you want the images, um, it does make it, you know, a huge difference. Now, I do love my Eco Tank because, I mean, it's very cost effective and, you know, so I don't want to down the Eco Tank, but I'm just saying. So, I think I... I think I did speed up. So, uh, um, yeah, I'm just inking everything up here. And at this point, I think I'm going to pause the video so I can speed this part up. So I'm just inking everything up, you guys. So I'm getting ready to attach um, our first magnet and it's going to go behind the first or right here you can see the first uh, piece that's going to be our closure piece right there the one that goes on the top of our flip up and I'm going to go ahead and glue it down at this point. You can take your scissors and cut those edges at an angle. I did not. It's not going to get in my way. It doesn't bother me. And so I also put another magnet at the back of the flip out. You can use score tape here. I'm just using some plain old duct tape. You can use, um, uh, what is that? Transparent tape. Scotch tape is what I was trying to say. And so I'm just making sure that I glue all of them down because I think I forgot to tape one down is what I mean. I forgot to tape one of those down. So after you glue it, tape it because it's going to connect with your other magnet and you'll lose your place. So I was supposed to have this as a pocket here and that one on the bottom. But as you can see, the magnet is in the way. So I'm just going to improvise at this point and flip those and just cover that up. So this top piece will now be a pocket. So this is pretty much it, you guys. Um, I have gone ahead and cut all of the pieces out for the most part, glued most of them down, but we still have some other pieces there. And so I'm just showing you. So there are little, lots of little tags and tickets from the kit. So I'm just going ahead and inserting some of those in our uh, piece. So this is the pocket that I told you guys I had to improvise on. So that's a pocket as well, which was different from our original flip out or flip up. So for that piece right there, I am going to just glue this um, library tag straight to that paper as in the original uh, flip up. So this is what you have and I love the way that that looks right there. So that one f will flow down, then it'll flip out <laughs> and these fold over and there's the back with more of the little tags inserted in already. And to cover the little hinge piece, I just um, 
put a little piece of that digital kit page to hide that. And that's it, you guys. And then you fold it back up. Easy peasy. And that would even look lovely on a plain journal piece. I mean, a journal piece, a journal page. You guys, I have got to stop doing these voiceovers uh, right before bed because I am so tired. Uh, but anyway, so uh, you guys have a lovely morning. A lovely evening or night, or in my case, a lovely night, morning, or evening, wherever you are.